Hello my fellow Christian fiction book lovers, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you how I keep track of all of the books I own because I own a lot of books. My library, like personal library, has um, more than doubled in the past year-ish I'd say. So I'm a very organized person. My family might disagree with that, but my personality is just one where I need organization in my life. And Excel is one of my best friends. <laughs> so I have an entire Excel spreadsheet that is not wanting to pull up on my computer. Okay, finally got it. So I have an entire Excel, Excel spreadsheet dedicated to cataloging all of my books. This also helps because I move very frequently. So like when I moved into the house I'm currently in, I was able to just like go on my spreadsheet and make sure that I had all my books and know how, which ones I wanted on which shelves. That was super helpful. So I am going to start a screen recording and overlay it into the video as I talk about this. I have, it's not a big stack. Normally I let it pile up to like when I finished my whole TBR, then I shelve it, but I wanted to make this video. So I'm just gonna walk you through these, technically nine books but one of them is in my little color coordinated stack. Anyway, I'm gonna walk you through this process and yeah, okay, let's start. <laughs> okay, so the way I have this spreadsheet broken into is by genre. So at the bottom I have different, I think they're called books, like sheets, that's what they're called. So I have all of my classics. We are not shelving any new classics today. Then I have all of my biblical. Then I have all of my historical books, minus my World War books, because there are just so many of those that they deserve their own sheet. So we have a couple historical books that we are going to be shelving. So to the best of my ability, I do have this spreadsheet lined up according to how it is on the shelf. So like starting with Freedom's Ring, then the tea chest, that's how it is shelved from left to right looking at it on the shelf. And so basically what I do is I pick up the book and this is Dreams of Savannah. It's set in the Civil War and I decide where I want it on the lineup. Let me decide that real quick. <laughs> and then once I've decided, I insert a column and I type in the title of the book, the author, the publication date, well, year, uh, what shelf it's on, if I've read it, which every book on my shelf has been read, but that didn't used to be the case, and then I type in my rating just for fun. And then I like set it aside, and once I've finished doing that with the rest of these, I shelf them. Another thing that I do when it is a series that you can kind of already see this is I format the cells gotta remember how I do this. Ah, yes, okay. So I go in and I change it to whatever I want. I think that's the one I use for trilogies. And then it changes the font. I just change it back to Times New Roman. Okay, so I have my four historical fiction books. And unfortunately, as part of continually buying new books but not new bookshelves, I have to get a little creative. Sometimes I'll take a book and put it behind the others to make space for a new one. It doesn't mean I dislike that book any less. It just means that I want to display the other one more. And sometimes I switch these out and sometimes it stays one way forever. And then I'm like, don't I have that book? Where is it? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's behind. Uh, I typically move before I ever forget about a book. <laughs> I have a lot of trilogies on my historical fiction shelf. I'm just now noticing that. The Mark of the Lion trilogy, the Lowlands of Scotland trilogy, the Price of Privilege trilogy, and the Orphan Train trilogy. That, wow. Interesting. I'm not a big series person, but this one shelf has a whole lot of series. <laughs> All right, and that is how I catalog my books and track how many books I have. And I just repeat this process pretty off. I used to have a whole section of the spreadsheet 
dedicated to books that I wanted to buy and like I would plan out my next book purchases. But really since I started YouTube and people started telling me like, you should read this author and you should read this book, uh, it's just been way too hard to keep up with because I'd be adding to it like every other day. And that's like from you, your guys' recommendations and my own personal like browsing Goodreads, I should be restricted from browsing Goodreads. I really should. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you Friday for whatever video that is. Until then, bye.